So hey guys, I just got done taking the head off, oh, the other, yesterday or the other day anyway, getting ready to clean it all up. And you guys know that I'm wanting to put this turbo on here that came off the extra engine that I got for it. Um, I got the head rebuilt on this little bad boy. And, you know, I pulled it, this, here's the other head, and I started looking at him a little bit because I have a couple little discrepancies, but everything will fit. Um, like, this is not attached on there. There's a freeze plug in there instead, and, uh, you know, the back and everything is fine. But I, I want to look in deeper uh, because I noticed the cam lobes, just by an eye, that they're more duration than these on the exhaust side. Okay, that would be typical of a turbo, right? You know, the, the intake side are roughly right about the same. Same, same, pretty close. Sorry about the shaking. But you guys know, I, and I've been contemplating this a lot. This is my NA uh, intake, and there's the turbo intake off of off of that with, it's, it's got this valve cover on it, which I thought was a bit weird because you guys know, the valve cover on a Mazda and on a Miata are like that. And if this has this, you know, flattened type thing. So, which could correspond with the way this is set up compared to this one, how it exits off the side. This one goes over the top. So I was looking at the tops of the pistons, right? Still see in there, there's a decent cross hatch still in those, which are awesome. That's cold to boring, which we hot bore our engines and that's why ours wear faster than theirs do. They wait until they cool down and they actually leave them in sand for a while. I don't know how many years possibly um, each block and then they bore it out. It eats up the bits, but it lasts forever. It's got, it had 151,000 miles on it when I pulled this off. Um, but now this engine, hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. Here's, this is on top. See what I'm talking about? How deep this is. This is this is a turbo engine. This is, these are like seven to one compression pistons. That's what I think. I'm not sure. I don't know because I can't figure out for the life of me what engine this is out of. I have, is it a Mazda Speed engine? What do we got here? You know. You know. If you guys can help me out here, I'd really appreciate you telling me what this little monster is. I know I should have had this plastic off before, but bear with me. Okay, that, that comes around. Those are all, you know, it, it pretty much looks like it's all, um, you know, it has just these, you know, the S and the two on this side, and there's nothing down in the little crevices or up back on here or up. The thermostat's right there. You know how the thermostat was out front up on this on the other one up on the head this looks like the thermostat is right off to the side so that that was like wait and the dipstick is up front and you saw the the head and like show you the, the oil pan which I'm pretty sure is quite a bit different than the one I have and it has this all In. So from searching around a little bit, I came to maybe come to two conclusions here, and I'm not exactly sure. I could be completely off with this, but I, I did find a picture that had the same valve cover that I had, but the intake was different. Uh, it was the BPT engine or the BPD engine, which was the engine that designed uh, to power Mazda through a World, a World Rally Championship win. I don't know if that's it, that engine, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. Throw some comments down in the bottom. Hit subscribe if you haven't.